Okay, I've now got the uh, orders from General Brown for the Parliamentarians. He has ordered basically a general advance of all of all his troops, apart from the uh, heavy cavalry there, who have to hold their position. Uh, everyone else will more or less move forward, maintaining the positions, apart from the dragoons, which are to advance full eight inches and to dismount. And uh, I'll show where they've left the horses by leaving one mounted figure there, but all the rest will disappear and be replaced by uh, dismounted dragoons. So I'll do that and I'll come back to you. Right, that movement's now been done. All these troops have been moved forward four inches, except for Balfour's horse, which was told to hold position. Uh, Brigadier uh, Correction General Brown's always also there. I'll come back to General Brown in a moment. Uh, the batteries have moved forward. Some of these uh, units of foot and horse. Uh, Orkies Dragoons have advanced eight inches and have dismounted. The mounted figure, he's still there because that's just to show where the horse holder is holding the horses. So they are mounted, just to get dismounted, ignore that figure, that's just where the horses are if the, these troops need to run back to mount up again. So that's that movement. Um, and I'll get my roll. Uh, Brigadier Brown is within 24 inches, which is verbal contact with all the units on that flank, all the units on his left flank, and he's actually in contact with all the units on this flank, except the Dragoons. They're just outside of his verbal contact, but every other unit is within verbal contact. General Brown, so if he needs to issue fresh orders, only the dragoons over there, it's just slightly out. Uh, and the other thing, what um, uh, General Brown was asking is about yes, you can only move, you can you can move and deploy or change your formation, move into column, etc., and move. You cannot move and fire at the same time in the same turn. The only exception to that is. If I just borrow this uh, artillery piece, the artillery piece let's go up a bit, can traverse up to 90 degrees each way. Because I'm not, we don't class that as moving. It can traverse 90, up to 90 degrees and fire in the same turn. So that would be the only that would be the only unit that could slightly alter its position, it's not advancing or retreating, it's simply spinning on the spot, so yes, artillery can uh, can do that, they're the only unit that can, no one else can move and fire at the same time. So, if I show the, the field now, you can see with Orkies Dragoons over there, they're fast approaching the broad, um, the other units have advanced, this, these units now, the London Train Band and the artillery are now almost up to the road. And come to think of it, uh, it also puts all that artillery, all that artillery actually, without even measuring it, is within well within range now. Should anybody come through this hedge, um, and also of course we're still in echelon there. That cavalry protecting that unit's flank. The guns there forward in etch along with this unit. Balfour's heavies in reserve there waiting. Uh, and again we move back and that unit is uh, cavalry units protecting that infantry. And we've got Oakley's Dragoons dismounted and they'll be ready for to fire next time if necessary. So that's it. That's uh, General Brown's turn. Uh, just to remind you of uh, General Simpkins. He's still to issue his orders. Uh, he's now got the advantage of seeing what uh, General Brown has done. And I'll wait to receive his orders. Once I receive his orders, I shall deploy his troops. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll come back to you and let you know how the battlefield looks. 
So until then, bye for now.